Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell. Everything I have links to be linked to down in the description and let's get right into the video. So right now, all I'm doing is pushing her cuticles back. Now I'm using a 180 grit sanding band to remove the shine from her natural nail. And I'm going to be using um, the stuff that I got from my previous haul video to do this set. Now I'm using a cuticle ball bit and I do go in forward and reverse. Now I'm going in and using 876 um, nail tips and these are the coffee nail tips and these glued down so beautifully this time. I don't know what was going on but they just work so well. And then I'm using KDS glue to glue them down and I was making them uh, get a better fit by using the 818 uh, hand files because I just really want to get my true thoughts on these files and i really really enjoyed them this is my second time using them and i thought that they worked great So I don't know if y'all know, but she is only 14, so she cannot have her nails super long. This is still too long for her, by the way. And I use two magnets to get that length. I recommend filing the sides first before you go in with the sandy band because that does kind of like weaken it a little bit. I've noticed when you go in and file after, and sometimes it can pop up, but I didn't file as much as I usually do. Now I'm going in after I dehydrated her nose with acetone because she does have very oily nail beds. Now I'm going in with my primer. I did two coats as usual. And now I'm going in with a thin clear base layer. After that, I will go in and apply my acrylic. It is only gonna be a one color application this time and I will not be encapsulating. For my actual acrylic color, I'll be using French Pink by Giselle Beauty, which was featured in my haul video that I just did. I will leave that linked in the cards as well at the end of the video.
So she ended up scratching the tip of this nail, so I had to go ahead and fill that in before I got into my filing process because if I would have saw that after everything was put away, it would have been bad. Here is the label, and I just use the 6060 hand file and disconnected the sides from the skin if it was connected and making sure I start my shape off just a little bit because I've talked about this in like my, my previous videos like forever ago that it really does help me visualize and get a better look at what I'm looking at it was more beneficial for me at the very beginning when my shape was just terrible like it was just a blob because my, ap my acrylic application was not good at all because I didn't know what I was doing yet and so now it's just kind of a little bit of a head start and then I really do my final shaping after I use my e-file because the shape will change and distort sometimes if you you know nick or do anything like that so now I'm going in with the Kiara Sky small drill bit and I'm making sure the nail is all even and then also going around the cuticle area to make sure it's not attached to the skin and I don't know why I did this at this step because I should have did it after I filed the surface of the nail with the hand file but you know what it works the same but typically I would like to keep the same thing going The reason why I say I should have done the hand filing first is because as you can see, it's leaving much deeper scratches and it's taking off much more product. So it's just a very different surface. And plus you can see how smooth the other nail is compared to the one that I just filed. So, but that's no issue because I will be going in with a buffer afterwards just to get the scratches out and make sure the nail is really nice and smooth. So I may just have to go ahead and buy two of these lights because why is this the second time this light has died on me? You guys, this light died during the set. So I went ahead and turned on my flash for my phone. So that's why it looks more orange. Um, and also the little st the stand ring light that I have was facing sideways. I don't know why it was facing sideways, but it was. So that didn't really counteract as much as the orange as it could have. And then I noticed it at the very end. So yeah, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I made sure it wasn't that bad. And after I'm done buffing, I will go ahead and dust her nails off and wipe them down with some LGN cleanse. You can see I'm feeling to make sure these scratches are out because you don't want to buff until it's like silky, silky smooth. You just want to buff until you can't feel them anymore. Now I'm going in with some matte top coat. This is also from LGN, but you can use any matte top coat. Some people even use shiny, but I'm using matte because I know that shiny is just way too slick. However, due to the fact that I used the 6060 file last and it is a much rougher grit, I wanted to go ahead and just use the matte top coat so the polish can just slide a little bit better and it's not going to fall into any grooves because A, we buffed and B, the matte gel polish did it already and this is a custom gel polish color i mixed pink from madam glam and white from just 
model ones which you can use anyway honestly and i went ahead and did my fringes with the get nailed 32 liner brush i love these brushes so much but i go through them like crazy i don't know why i just go through these brushes like it's nobody's business but they are eight dollars so i do not mind buying them every single time and also the buffer i use is also from get nailed 32 as well and like i said i will have all the links down below in the description so I left the other hand in to show you guys that my first French was really terrible. And when you do things for the first time, it's like really bad. However, I used to do Frenches all the time and they were getting really, really good. And then I just stopped doing them all together. But I feel like it's because we see Frenches all the time and they're really cute. But mm -mm, like you can't just see that all the time, but they still look good. So I took a break and I'm also terrible at doing fringes on other people, but on myself or on press on nails, easy, no issue. So I do want to get better at them just in general again. And like I said, I'm using a Get Nail 32 brush and I actually did end up running out of the polish midway through. So I went ahead and mixed some more and the pink ended up becoming a lighter pink, which we actually enjoyed more. Then um, I'm using acetone to clean up any gel polish before it cures. And I also am using this brush you see here because I do have the cleanup brush from Natalie Carmona, but her fingers are so little that using that big of a brush just wouldn't work for her. And I think I got this brush from like a gel paint pot kit from Savvyland. And then it came with like the free brushes. Um... But I'm pretty sure you just look them up on Amazon. And also, I did her pinky and her ring finger on the other hand, cured it, and then now I'm doing the pinky and the ring finger on this hand as it cures so I don't waste any time. And sometimes I just jump ahead and go to, like, the next finger. But I know for a fact those other two are cured. And one thing I wish I would have done is top-coated them as soon as I finished this whole hand and she cured it to make sure everything was fully cured. I should have just top coated because I always get hair or something in them and then I have to wipe them down with acetone and yeah that's just a tip that I need to implement myself is to top coat them immediately because my sister always touches something like both my sisters always just touch something and gel polish has that tacky layer to it sometimes so yes that's what I will do in the future but I will show me applying the little heart charm as well because the original set she wanted had a bow on it. If I have the picture, I will put it up um, for what we're trying to not even like recreate because it's completely different kind of sort of. But yes, I'm going to put that picture up if I can find it. And then we will go ahead and get on to the top coating and adding the gem. Just know we did do a second coat and that's why the nails are just a little bit lighter if you see that they're lighter at all.
I know I have bow charms, but I could not find them. And so the reason why I had to cut the video right there is because I was going to paint the nails. But I was so distraught that there was gel polish smudged on that pinky and that heart charm was not supposed to go there. And so this is so dramatic. And so I just was so distraught because like what and so i ended up putting it on there with the mccart glue gel that i showed you guys in the beginning and then i went around it and put a the layer of gel with the brush around it and yeah i ended up doing two coats of gel polish on each hand because of the like hair and the fuzz i had to wipe with acetone like i said and so the, to me, the surface was uneven, though, even though it got all of the like hair and all that stuff out and it was bumpy. And so I had to go in and file after the fact. Here I am going in sealing the charm is what it's called. And I cured it again for a full 120 seconds. And then I went ahead and reshaped and added some cuticle oil. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, sharing the bell. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.